Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Elliot Brown here with Essex Business Radio, and I'm doing another one of the very exciting and compelling shows that I'm doing, uh, C19, How We Deal With It, where I'm chatting to lots of people everywhere about how they are dealing with the, uh, the COVID-19 virus, how it's changed their lives, uh, how they've had to adopt, adapt, and how they're endeavoring to improve um, and also any advice ideas and tips they've got for everybody out there and so today I'm crossing across across the pond uh, transatlantic chat with Marion Bacall Uber did I say that right Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we had to start again because I messed up, didn't I? And I'm happy to I'm happy to say that because this is a real chat that we're having. Um, so how are you today Marion? I'm doing well. How are you? Saying hi from Miami. <laughs> yeah, Miami. Yeah, lovely, lovely. And the, and the weather's pretty good over in Miami, I'm assuming. Yeah, but pretty much. Good, good. Well, we're actually in good weather here in the UK as well. Obviously, I'm here in Essex, just east of London for uh, any international listeners or viewers. Um, okay, so, so Marianne, you have a, a coaching a retreat business, um, very much about um, you know, mindfulness, uh, meditation and bits and pieces, I believe. Do you want to tell me a quick, a quick bit about your business, Thriver Lifestyle? Yes. So Thriver Lifestyle came from my own journey from being a victim and survivor to a thriver. Oh, I and like the that. reason why, um, and that's all really in the mindset. And the reason why there's lifestyle at the end, because it's an ongoing journey for all of us in our lives, in our relationships, in our business. It's not like an overnight fix. It's not any of that. Uh -huh. So my company is, um, I do conscious business coaching. Yeah. I have rich events and I'm also a speaker. Uh -huh. So I primarily help women uh, really grow their business and their brand through their authentic message, both yep. online and on stage. But now with COVID, everything is online. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, yeah. So what sort of audience is, um, so size-wise, to give me, an, give me an idea of how, how much it has changed, well, who do you sort of deliver to? What sort of size audience is it, if you don't mind me asking? So I, talking about reach or, or when I speak? Yeah, when you do, when you do your speaking, yeah. Yeah, so I've spoken at, at smaller to large events with like a thousand people or more that I, when I've done keynotes. Yeah. Um, I actually had a few keynotes scheduled for this year that all just got postponed. Of course. Um, and, and some that have moved online. You know, so I, I speak regularly uh, at General Assembly and okay. they have right before all this happened and we were, you know, in shelter in place, I was actually uh, doing um, a talk at General Assembly New York, San Francisco, and LA. Wow. Um, but now I actually just reached out to them um, and they're doing a virtual event, but combining forces so the reach will actually be more people. Oh. So, I mean, that's a positive. It's not in person, it's not that same connection, but they're combining their, their email list, which is in the hundreds of thousands. They wow, have a wow. Huge list, but okay. delivering these being virtual. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. so, this, and that's it. That's in collaboration with somebody else, right? Yes. Yes. And this is actually something that I, uh, I've been teaching to all of my clients, you know, we have four pillars in the Thriver yeah. lifestyle. Okay. And, really, uh, and I believe that it's, you need strategy and soul. Yeah. Strategy is the tactics, the, you know, the things, all that you need to do. Yeah. But if you don't have the soul part right, which is your mindset, your belief in yourself, all that, yeah. you can be repeating the same mistakes because you're not getting to the root of what's happening. Yeah, of course. Um, so one of the, the, the four pillars actually of Thriver is consciousness, yeah. collaboration, community, and celebration. Okay. And I believe now more than ever, it's, it's in these times yeah. that we actually have to practice it more. Because it's easy to be positive and great and have a strong practice, right? When yeah. things are sunshine and rainbows. Yeah. But yeah. when things go, you know, very challenging and yeah. struggling like what we're doing, yeah. that's actually when we need to do it more. Yeah. Yeah, no, I completely, I completely get that for, for sure. Yeah. So, what, so what, are you do, what have you done to change things that you're doing with your, with your clients at, at the moment? Obviously, you are doing, I'm assuming you're, you're using Zoom and things like this, are you? Yeah, yeah. So the first thing that I've actually um, been teaching and I'm doing another masterclass on this is uh, I call the three steps to pivot okay. or three steps to expand. I like the pivot. We, Somebody else used the word pivot yesterday. I like that. Yeah, yeah. it really expands, shift, change, because we need to shift according with what's going on, right? For sure. Is the three A's. It's audit, ask, and agile. Right. And really briefly, it's really, as you can tell, I love... <laughs> alliterations and things yeah. to help us remember yeah. audit is really instead of like rushing to change to one thing yeah. take an audit of yourself of your business where yeah. you're at 
before doing all the things. Because I yeah. think what a lot of people are doing, they're panicking and they're like, oh, I hear I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to do that. Without okay. really thinking what's the best for myself and my business, where this is at, how do I best serve my ideal clients who their needs have also shifted? Yeah. You know, so take an audit of that. You know, what used to matter to them is different now. And, you know, go look at it according to Maslow's hierarchy of needs. People are, are in the, the, t the bottom two right now. They're right. In, in survival. They're trying to figure out how to have money, food, shelter, you know, their health. So if, even if you had a business, let's say I have a, um, a client who was a, a fitness coach uh -huh. before was about getting like, you know, the dream body and all that stuff. Yeah. I said, well, now we have to shift. You can still teach a lot of the same tools and exercise, but your messaging and positioning has to change. Definitely. So now it's more on, you know, immunity and health, mm. but the same practices are the same. Her workouts, her meal prep, but now yeah. the, it's, it's changed. It's, it's just, that, that. it's just your message. Your messaging is changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think more, more, more prevalent than ever, if that is the right word to use. And I think it is, um, the, you're right. Messaging is, I mean, you and I know this from, from the fact that we are, you know, we, we have to market ourselves or we've been involved mm -hmm. with lots of people because we're in that sort of arena. Um, yeah messaging has always been one of the biggest things particularly over the last three or four years when it comes to using yeah. social and stuff like that getting your message across to people if people don't understand what i mean by that it's about getting your, you know, your point across about what you provide to people but yeah the messaging is slightly different now and you're, you're i think that's a really good analogy that you use there with the fitness side it is about the fitness but the immunity side is a big big point now and of course yeah. being fitter and healthier and stronger and eating the right foods and having the right balance in essence, does uh, does help the immunity. So uh, yeah, quite an, quite an interesting, valid point. I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's ask is ask questions. What do people need? How do you yeah. be best of service? If you assume what everyone wants, then you're just you know what they say about assuming. Yeah, <laughs> assumption is the mother. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so you need to ask, ask, ask also yourself. You know, yeah. what's the what's the best way to to shift? Yeah. Especially if you have, I have another client who was a brick and mortar. She is a, a chef and a restaurant owner. Right. And wow. She had to adjust. Now they're just doing takeout. The business is, you know, completely low, but we shifted. So yeah. now she's doing online classes, offering private cooking classes right. virtually on the side. Right. She has her ebook, you know, that now Good. she's so, it, it's, it's that shift, but she asked her audience, what, what do you need right now? And a lot of people actually don't know how to cook at home yeah and they're like we need easy recipes she's a vegan coach uh -huh. a chef uh -huh. and she's like we need easy recipes and show us how to do it yeah. so she asked them and now she's offering something yeah you know that fits them and the last is agile meaning to be quick and efficient so if you do the first two right yeah you know you're able to find out okay what do i need to do now how do what do my 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 audience needs what is uh -huh. my my community need, what do I yep. need to offer them? Test it out. If that doesn't work, then you try something else. And that's really, you need to do those foundational things. Definitely. Regardless, or else you'll just be, you know, trying to figure out what sticks. It's like the shiny syndrome, you know, oh, that's going to work. That's going to yeah. work. And then, <laughs> and then, and then yeah. go off and have a look at that and, and lose the focus for sure. Um, I mean, yeah. you know, I, I, and everything you said there, I, I completely agree with you. And, and I said it definitely is more apparent now. Listen, the things that you're saying, I think were apparent before all of this anyway, yeah. particularly yeah, when we get ahead in your business these days where most markets are pretty noisy. Um, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. even more so than ever now where we've all got the time or everybody's got the time to look at social and compare and it's going to change the way everybody does business. And I think the yeah. people that are really pushing themselves out there now, I do think that there is a, a massive edge for the smaller business that can be more agile, that can be more adaptive, can be more creative right now. Mm -hmm. And some of the bigger guys that are stuck in a particular groove, so to speak, um, I think it's the time for these, some of these smaller businesses, these micro businesses to actually level up. Would you agree? Yeah. Well, it's usually in these times, like the last one, when the market crashed in 2008, yep. some industries definitely went down, but some also excelled. Of course. You know, it, it's, it's the ones who see this as an opportunity to grow, yeah. Yeah. to really ask the community. And I think it's doing it with integrity because yeah. I get a lot of questions like, is it okay to sell? I'm like, yes, as long as you believe yeah. that this will actually help your audience right now. Absolutely. And that 
you're, you're doing it from a place of integrity, not yeah. just to sell just for the purpose of selling and making money, yeah. but doing it from a place where you know this will really help someone in the position that we're in right now. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and I couldn't agree with you more. The integrity, a big, big part of uh, what, what I've always tried to be like. I'm sure there's people out there that would disagree because that's usually the people that don't agree with things because you're actually touching nerves that they don't like uh, you approaching. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to be diplomatic here, <laughs> but I think you know what I mean when you coach people yeah, and you help yeah. people out. Um, so so how, how has this impacted you personally on a, on a personal level? Forget the business for a second. I mean, I mean true, yeah. on a personal level, how has this impacted you? And, and, and your sort of daily life and going about things normally so it has affected me in terms of in a few ways okay. so when this first happened i think with everyone it's a sense of shock sure. you know because this is really unprecedented the whole world is, is shutting down that's never really happened before oh no, no so, never never so no. it's how do we adjust so the initial shock you know we're human even though I have practices and I'm a, you know, meditation, it, it's, it doesn't matter. We're human. So we yeah. feel it and yeah. I'm empathic. So I feel a lot of what other people are feeling. Of course. But once that death settles, then we have to figure out, okay, this is what we're dealing with right now. Yeah. What can we control and what can we not? We can't control everything else. The only things we can control are our thoughts, our words, our actions, and how we perceive the world. Uh -huh. And so once I got out of that, you know, and the news played a big part, I was like constantly on it. So oh, I we all were, we all were, I think we all were. Yeah. Right. You get worked up. And then when I finally like snapped out of it, I was like, you know what? I can't control that. It's the same information over. I stopped watching it. There's still, you know, not to say that I've ignored it, but yeah. it, I wasn't consuming it though. I was, and yeah. then I realized, okay, you know, I'm an extroverted person yeah. i love being in but i also i have events and i love meeting people yeah. and I, I do all these things i had to change that and i'm yeah. like okay how can i offer something similar to my community yeah you know, being at home and being safe and all that so i started launching more virtual events uh -huh. um, i have a weekly meditation mondays a weekly um women's networking uh, online and then i teach various master classes online um started offering um created a new somewhat new it's from from other things a part of my program yeah um to launch a monetize your message that matters it's a 30-day accelerator type right. thing for those who've never been really on the online space but have okay. maybe they were brick and mortar or they had you know wanted to launch but how they can define their message their audience and how they can package it where it's relevant to help people right now and then launch it okay. so I just, you just have to. You, shift so you're, to taking, what's going you're on. taking some of the things you've done before, but repurposing it for what? Oh, I lost you there for a second. <laughs> re, re, but repurposing, um, repurposing it for what is the current sort of climate? Yes. Yeah. And what is, you know, and this is where I, I follow my, what I teach. Like yeah. I had to do an audit. Oh, yeah. Well, I think you have to. Otherwise, right now, how, how, can you, how can you do it with integrity, as you said? Yeah. Earlier? Because before I was like, at this time before my plan was to relaunch, you know, my six month mastermind and do all of that. Yeah. I realized people right now need something quicker. Yeah. You know, they want instant results because they're in this with the state that they're in. Yeah. It's not like, oh, a long like a program, which, you know, to some it could work. But I realized after asking my community that they needed help, like what can get me results now? So that's why I, I think, I think, no, and I think that's, I think that's really, a, a, a really, really interesting point actually, because we've got this, we've got this time, whereas before you have to fit these things into people's lives where they are running their business. They do have to commute. They've got to go to places. They've got other things going on. So yeah. fit, fitting that in over a period of time worked and it did work. But I think mm -hmm. that that whole industry that you're, that you're in, and I, I, I've been very close to that. In fact, you know, probably done part of that myself and being involved in, and, and actually paid, paid into it to learn things um yeah now you want you need that information quick because if we want to act fast and be ahead of the game as things start to you know get to some sort of whatever the new normality is going to be in the new world as we're classing it now for sure um mm -hmm. it's it's interesting you know you need it's important to get that information as fast as you can isn't it yeah and i think on a personal level when you ask how this affected me it's brought me even more into my practice yeah. you know my my rituals my own practice because i need to be grounded more than ever <laughs> now <laughs> to be able to serve my community right yeah, yeah. so it definitely it's 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 a test for yeah. for all of us you know 
yeah definitely definitely yeah. um so um so what are what are you going to do um with regards to how you're at? i mean do, do you do you see any particular things that that you may be able to do moving forward to 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 level up your business now do you do, i mean obviously you've had to you've changed it um mm -hmm. is there any ideas that you've got to to sort of get yourself out there in a in a, in a bigger way yeah so this is actually the time to double down on your business yeah. if you're able to I, I really i actually invested more in getting you know my my mentor now that i, I hired and coached she's an yeah. eight figure multi serial entrepreneur because i'm like i i want to this is the actual time where most people are going left you have to go right and really yeah. see the opportunities so yeah. i've doubled down and invested more in my own business personal development as well and in personal and professional development yeah. um to, to know that this is the time right now to really grow and, and scale at a much faster level. Yeah. And so that's one. And I encourage this, really this thinking to my clients, you know, because yeah. this is actually the best time to grow community. Yeah. In terms of numbers, it's actually, for example, Facebook ads, you get better conversions. It's actually cheaper to run Facebook ads right now. Yeah, yeah. Now more than ever, it's the time to build community and to be of service uh -huh. and build those relationships. I call it it's relationship currency, which will... Yeah further than financial currency no matter yeah. what yeah so double down in your business and your community and serving love that love that mm -hmm. i think there's a hell of a lot to be taken from what you've said what you've said there i mean i'm i'm, I'm i i think your uh, your clients are going to be thankful to have it for having you around uh, to help them um and very interesting uh, that, that you um and i know a lot of a lot of coaches and people in that in your arena that um you know, always get self development as they develop themselves personally and professionally as well. And uh, and it, and it's and it's good to understand that because, you know, the more that you can learn, the more you can help the people that you work mm -hmm. with as well. Yeah. So yeah, uh, so great. Well, listen, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you. It's uh, the, the time flies when we have these and um, have these chats. So I could talk to you for a long time. Uh, I'd like to keep in close contact. I'd like to keep in close contact with you. I think moving forward, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll do another one of these at some stage in the near future. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. love to. Oh, great. And if okay. anyone wants to reach out, I'm actually really active on Instagram. Yeah. So, well, so where can people find you? Yeah. So on Instagram, you know, all the information is there from my website, um, my free events, all that stuff. Um, it's at M B A C O L U B A M B A C O L U B A. Just feel free to add me, ask me questions, slide in my DMs. Um, I'm actually offering a uh, complimentary free uh, 30 minute business audits. Okay. So for anyone who really wants to change it and pivot, they can, you know, I'll help them find new creative ways to do something online with Excellent. what they're doing. Excellent. Great. Okay, great. Well, there'll be links around, uh, around the post that we will do, we'll be doing as well. Um, will you share this out to, out to your, uh, to your audience as well on your socials Absolutely. for us? Brilliant yeah. stuff. Great, great, great. Well, listen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Pleasure, Marianne. Thank you very much for joining us from, uh, from Miami. Um, Thank you for having me. And, uh, and, I, and I look forward to catching up with you very, very soon. Um, okay. So that's the end of another um, great show. I've learned a lot there and I'm hoping uh, you all have as well. Uh, anybody listening or watching, um, you, listen, if you don't know, please go over to www.essexbusinessradio.com. You can find all of the links there for everything. Thanks very much uh, again. And it's ciao for now. Brown cow.